The fjords, mountains, and northern lights of Norway are known worldwide. But did you also know Norway is home to some of the greatest innovations and construction projects ever accomplished? For example, Norway is the home of the Lærdal Tunnel, which is the world's longest road tunnel. The tunnel is about 25 kilometers long, which is an astonishing length for a tunnel. I have previously driven through the tunnel and can attest to its magnificent design. It incorporates features to help manage the mental strain on drivers. Every six kilometers, there is a cave to separate sections of the road. The lighting varies throughout the tunnel and caves to break the routine and provide a varied view. But that is a story for another day. In this video, I will tell you about another significant Norway construction project, the 47 billion US dollars coastal highway. I promise to do a video on the Laertal tunnel, so don't worry too much. I have got your back. Just ensure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to get alerts when the new videos drop in. Overview of Norway's $47 billion coastal highway. The western coast of Norway is home to some of the most iconic and dramatic landscapes ever seen on Earth. Carved by glaciers throughout the ages, some of these fjords stretch for over 200 kilometers inland, going about one kilometer deep. With this terrain, the current convoluted travel takes one along Norway's 683-mile E39 highway. The road has a total journey time of 21 hours. That is almost a whole day. In its attempt to improve service delivery and enhance residential and labor markets across the western coast, the Norwegian government has embarked on one of the largest infrastructure projects the country has ever seen. The new coastal highway project intends to eliminate the need for ferry services by constructing a series of bridges and tunnels across through the landscape. Keep in mind that the western coast is home to about a third of Norway's population. Therefore, constructing a monolithic, continuous highway will connect the entire west coast and bring social and economic benefits to the country. The western coast highway project is estimated to cost Norway a staggering grand total of 47 billion US dollars. The first to come on the series of crossings that link the E39 highway is Rogfast. It will connect Stavanger and Haugesund via a 27-kilometer undersea tunnel. The structure will reach depths of up to 319 meters below sea level, making it the longest and deepest undersea road tunnel in the world. The Rogfast project will, in fact, consist of two tunnels connected every 250 meters with emergency exits. Each tunnel will have a lay-by at 500-meter intervals, along with telephone and surveillance cameras. With work begun in the year 2018, this project element is set to be completed by the year 2026. It is estimated to cost a whopping 2 billion US dollars. Bjorn Fjord, which is located to the south of Bergen, stands 5 kilometers wide and reaches depths of 600 meters. A floating bridge anchored to the shore at both ends has been proposed to cross the narrow stretch of water. The submerged floating tunnel would see two interconnected tubes running side by side, tethered to the seabed using high-strength cables. Crossing the Ramsdalsfjord will require about a 16-kilometer undersea tunnel, much like the Rogfast project from Alisund to Midsund, following by a two-kilometer suspension bridge connecting onto Mold. The 21-hour trip Currently, the E39 highway connects Trondheim down to Christiansund, with various major cities along the way. The entire trip has a total travel time of 21 hours, ferries included. In fact, ferries crossing at the fjords account for most of the travel time. However, once the highway project is complete, it will become easy for vehicles to make uninterrupted drives from Trondheim at the top of Norway down the western coast to Christiansund. This flawless travel will significantly cut down travel time. Construction work. Construction of the E39 coastal highway is already underway. We have finished about 11% of the project work, said Tor Asklund. Tor is the project manager for the E39 highway project with expertise in fjord crossings, risk management, sustainable infrastructure, planning and construction, and strategies, to name a few. Let's just say he's the man for the job. In Norway, the politicians decide what road projects to build and when. They initially wanted the E39 to be finished in 20 years, but the cost is too large and there is a need to build also other roads, Tor says in one of his interviews. 
The project is estimated to be completed in 30 years. Feats of Engineering As you already know, such a project is of no mean feat. It needs all hands on deck to be accomplished. It is a multidisciplinary project, requiring people with adequate knowledge in safety, material technology, social economics, climate and environment, and structural engineering, among many other disciplines. I am not an engineer, but I am sure it won't be easy for engineers to leap over the various fjords and the long, narrow, deep inlets of the sea. In the words of Tor, the Sula Fjord in crossing is the toughest crossing, due to the harsh environment close to the Atlantic Ocean. We are currently measuring wind and waves, and it will not be easy to build and operate it. An open bridge can be closed due to too much wind. A submerged floating tube bridge can be the solution, but we don't know yet. The Floating Bridge The Coastal Highway Project will include a floating, submerged tube bridge. It is among the most exciting elements of the project. Although the designers and engineers are yet to decide on whether they are going to build the bridge at any crossings, the bridge is set to be an incredible addition to the superhighway. The bridge will become the first of its kind as the concept has not been explored anywhere else in the world. The 5-kilometer floating bridge will cross the Bjorna Fjorden. There is also the element of the long cable-stayed bridge that is set to become the longest cable-stayed bridge in the world. Safety Concerns as we all know, adopting safe, eco-friendly, and sustainable building and construction techniques is of great essence to the success of any major project. So while the Coasting Highway project appears so lucrative, project managers will have to heavily consider the fact that fjords are also crossings for large ships. In that respect, engineers will have to construct tall bridges to allow the heavy flow of shipping traffic seen at such fjords. Remember, large ships could potentially damage a bridge beyond repair if a collision occurs. Other safety concerns associated with this project include making sure the number of traffic fatalities or incidents is no higher than the Norway national average, which is relatively low, and reducing the risk related to fires in the tunnels, which would be a nightmare in some of the longer tunnels in the project. Whether this project becomes fruitful or not is just a matter of time. The project seems a bit over-ambitious, but it is achievable, especially considering the huge amount that has been put forward to accomplish it. What is your opinion on this project? Share your thoughts in the comments section.